Congratulations! You just clicked on the video about ranking every bed destroy effect in Bed Wars from worst to best, made by a popular guy on YouTube. So, what's your reward? You get to watch a video about ranking every Bed Wars bed destroy effect from worst to best. I want to quickly mention that this was extremely difficult to rank, since they were either really trash or really good. If you disagree with me, then sorry, but you should subscribe and join my Discord server anyways. Also, this will not only be based on cosmetic luck, but whether you get a slight competitive advantage or disadvantage from it. Anyways, enjoy the video. In 17th place is the Blizzard Bed Destroy Effect. Although this is extremely rare and really hard to obtain, this is just really boring. In 16th place is Ghost. It's actually so garbage and I have no idea why anyone would like this. The sound is horrible and it's honestly just a disgusting sight when you're playing Bed Wars. Also, it's not worth using over absolutely no bed destroy effect either, simply because remember that when destroying a bed you're usually in the middle of an epic PvP battle, and hence it'll feel like it's taking longer for the ghosts to disappear than how long it took Nevada to count the votes in the 2020 election. Also good luck trying to shoot a fireball through this thing. In 15th place is the Glyph Bed Destroy. Now what I'm supposed to say is that this depends on what glyph you have, which I won't rank from worst to best unless I get like 10 comments on this video begging me for it, but I'm not going to say that because having a glyph above a bed is just incredibly boring. So I don't care what sort of triple RGB Trader Joe's everything but the bagel 16.8 million color glyph you have, but it is 15th place. Take it or leave it. In 14th place is Thief. Now this thing actually sucks so much and again, I really don't know why anyone would use this. I mean, yeah, Endermen are cool and all, but they're also not. Now in 13th place is the Squid Bed Destroy, which is really nice and in my final effects video, I described it as... Not only do squids remind me of my favourite YouTuber in 2014, but this comes out at a cheap price of only 5,000 coins and it's honestly not horrible. It is the same squid that will go into a sushi tomorrow. Now I'm not even gonna try to attempt another squid joke on my own, so I'm just going to google one. Now please subscribe for more big funny memes. In 12th place is Ladybug. This is an extremely annoying bed destroy simply because of the sound. Now this doesn't even look like a ladybug, but it looks more like bad boy Halo. Yes, that guy. In 11th place is Tornado. Just like the final kill effect, I'll never understand why anyone would use this simply because it is so trash, but someone from the comments mentioned that people use it because GamerBoy80 does. Shout out to the person who commented that. So, I guess that if you're a GamerBoy80 simp, you can use this to your heart's content, but if you're a Diddy simp, never use this. In 10th place is Firework. Fireworks may have been really trash in the Victory Dance video, and really good in the Final Kill Effects video, which you should definitely watch if you haven't already, and even if you have already watched it, you should watch it again. But I'm just going to put it somewhere in the middle, because there really are some better bed destroys, and quite creatively made by the Hyper Team of Arpus. In 9th place is Lava Explosion. This was the bed destroy I had used for the longest period of time, before I switched, because it is probably the closest thing to the Blood Explosion Final Kill Effect, and it is extremely satisfying. It's quite cheap as well, so almost anyone can unlock it. In 8th place is Bedbugs. Firstly, every time you look at these purple bedbugs, you should be reminded of this purple dude on YouTube with 29 subscribers who you should definitely subscribe to and join his Discord server. Anyways, with that out of the way, it's obviously a pretty poggers bed destroy, however there is a minor disadvantage with this, which is the fact that you can't place blocks on where the effect was. Obviously, this is usually not a problem at all. However, when you want to place a block during an epic PvP battle, it can get extremely annoying and could be the decider of whether you win or lose the fight. So that is just one thing to get used to. I don't know why I mentioned that in this bed destroy out of all of the bed destroys I could have mentioned it in, since it kind of applies to like half of these. If you're desperate to find out, you can always just try and look it up in Wikipedia, although that probably won't work. In 7th place is the Fishy Bed Destroy. This is how your favourite grocery store gets their fish, and it is extremely effective because they probably hired someone like GamerBoy80 to break a lot of beds for them. So next time you go to Trader Joe's and buy your favourite rainbow trout, you'll know where it came from. In 6th place is Egg Explosion. Now, 
If I was a really bad YouTuber, I would probably make some really bad jokes about Trader Joe's one dozen cage free USD organic eggs, which are painted and definitely not five weeks old. But I already used the Trader Joe's joke in this video, so the joke would have gone from 0.05 out of 10 to 0.0000001 out of 10. Now this bed destroyer is extremely satisfying, and anyone who likes satisfying stuff should definitely use it. In fifth place is the present bed destroy. And you really shouldn't be using it at any time of the year apart from the Christmas holidays because Santa does not give gifts like that. He goes through a chimney and then, well, he puts it under the Christmas tree. I thought you'd know that already. In fourth place is lightning strike, which I really shouldn't have to explain. In third place is Pumpkin Explosion. This is really cool because we all love pumpkin pie. In second place is Pig Explosion. This is around a third of English breakfast sorted, unless of course eating it would be haram. You can actually ride the pig if you want, which is pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure that you have anti-KB or something if you're riding it. But don't take that as a reliable source because a purple dude on YouTube with 29 subscribers really isn't better than Google and Wikipedia when it comes to Hypixel stuff. And in number one is Pig Missile. If you've watched a lot of Bedwars gameplay on YouTube, you've definitely seen a lot of this. Not only does this look amazing, but you're able to ride it, in other words, basically fly. But only in one direction, in one place, and then take full damage later if you're not that careful. To utilize this, all you have to do is right click on the pig and then press your sneak key whenever you want to dismount. This can be extremely useful in some scenarios and I don't think the devs care too much about this, since it has already been nerfed. When this was first released, you were able to almost fly to a moon, but now you can only go up like 10 to 20 blocks. Regardless, this feature is amazing and I really hope this doesn't get removed and it probably won't which is why this had to be number one. It's just, it just had to be. Uh, hi, so Future Diddy here. Um, I know it's been like two months since the last upload and this was kind of a short video, but I have just been extremely busy recently. I just want to thank everyone for the fan art that they've made during the wait for this video. Uh, it's just so awesome to have so many people doing this stuff for me as well. Um, this time it's not going to be those cool animation, whatever, whatever you call it, that I did last video. Um, it's just gonna be, uh, well, you, you, you can literally see on the screen how I'm showcasing it right now. Um, thank, thanks so much. Uh, hopefully I will be uploading a little bit more regularly because of the summer. But do join my discord, the link is in the description and you can hang out there while waiting for a new video. There is a really good active community there right now, so well yeah. Thanks for 7000 subs by the way, I really do appreciate it.